Transcription is the process of making mRNA from a DNA template. This is a picture of an enlarged DNA molecule. The four nucleotides in DNA are adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. In an RNA sequence, thymine is replaced with uracil. In DNA, adenine bonds with thymine, while guanine binds with cytosine. The orange D on the outside of the nucleotides is the deoxyribose sugar, and the tan strip is the phosphate backbone. Cytosine and thymine are pyrimidines, which have two rings in their nitrogenous base structure. Adenine and guanine are purines, which have only one ring in their nitrogenous base structure. In order to understand the process of transcription, you first have to learn about the parts involved. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is responsible for the heredity of living things. mRNA, or messenger ribonucleic acid, carries instructions from one gene to make a protein. RNA polymerase is an enzyme that builds the messenger RNA strand. Exons are coding segments of DNA, while introns are non-coding segments of DNA. Polymerase is a long, folded, three-dimensional chain of amino acids. The step that will be talked about in this lesson is transcription. As I said earlier, transcription is the process of making mRNA from a DNA template. The central dogma of molecular biology states that DNA goes to RNA, which goes to protein, and finally to trait. Transcription takes place in between DNA and RNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid is double-stranded and runs anti-parallel. The nucleotides that are used in DNA are the adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine bases. Only 1-2% of our DNA codes for proteins. This 1-2% of DNA is our genes. In a DNA sequence, adenine bonds with thymine while cytosine bonds with guanine. This is another example of a complementary strand. For the DNA, you have T A C G G C A T T. And for your complementary mRNA strand, you have A U G C C G U A A. Your complementary strand of mRNA is always opposite of your template DNA strand. Here you see a template DNA strand that will be read by an enzyme and will create a complementary strand of mRNA. The RNA polymerase will start at a promoter and will slowly move along the template DNA strand. Now you will see that we have created a complementary strand of mRNA. This mRNA complementary strand will then be taken out of the nucleus and into the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, it will undergo splicing and translation. Here you will see that we have a code on here, which is a three nucleotide sequence of genetic information. In this example, the codon is guanine, adenine, and adenine. The DNA will be unzipped in order to allow the mRNA complementary strand to be built. 